Hello and welcome to Insider Week. My name is Mike Schultz and in this video I'm going to show you how we traded commodities and futures last trading week. Our profit from the last trading week is 27,458 dollars. Let's have a look at trades we made last trading week. Let's start with CUT1 trading strategy. We started in the last trading week with one short position in soybeans. We ended up the last trading week with two positions in our portfolio. We are two contracts short in Cooper and one contract short in soybeans. First of all, let's have a look at CRB index. There is no big changes, therefore as you can see, our watch list was balanced. We had three markets on the buy side and four markets on the sell side. Let's start with the first market. First market is soybeans. As you can see, we got a sell signal. This is a weekly chart. We are looking for sell and buy signals based on CUT data analysis from CUT report. Then we switch to daily chart and wait until the trend change. As you can see, the trend changed in soybeans and we decided to open a short position. After we got some correction, um, we decided to close a part of position. We closed two of three contracts and made a profit of $1,400. All the trades you can see on our website. Back to the daily chart. As you can see, we are still in the market with one short contract and we placed our stop loss on the last high. Next market, Cooper. As you can see, we got a sell signal based on CUT data. So we switched to daily chart. So on daily chart, you can see that we got some sell off and we used the correction of the market to open a short position. We are still in the market with two short contracts. In other markets from our watch list, we didn't do any trades because the market went in other direction like S&P 500 or Dow Jones a mini. So we expected that the market will break out of resistance level but the market declined so same picture here platinum this market we had on both sides in our watch list on sell and buy side we're prepared for both direction as you can see the market declined but we didn't get an entry pattern so on the last market coffee so as you can see we don't have here a trend change for sure and therefore we wait until the trend change from upward trend to downward trend because we have a sell signal based on CUT data. On the small account we uh, did one trade uh, in Soybeans A mini contract. It was liquid enough and uh, so we opened there a short position with two contracts, two lots and we close this position with a profit of $282. Next strategy, CUT2 strategy. So we started in the trading week with two positions in our portfolio. We were short in crude oil and short in coffee. And we ended up the week with an empty portfolio. The weekly profit is $25,776. Mostly we made a profit with our trades in crude oil. We already started in the week with one open short position. So then we used the correction of the market to add more short contracts to our position. We decided on the next day, we decided to close a part of the position. After strong sell-off, we decided to close a whole position and the profit was $28,840.
And the last market is Kaffee. We opened here a short position, so we checked the news first. Uh, the news were um, bearish. We opened a short position on the next day. The news got bullish. We decided to close a part of position. So and made a profit of $1,255. So with the rest of position, so we waited until our price price target was hit and we made um, um, 2296 dollar profit so and in the sum we made a profit of 3551 dollar in this market and the last trading strategy is weather trading strategy based on weather analysis in this trading strategy or in this portfolio we don't have any changes that's it thank you very much for your time see you next week your max schultz